we have a problem, a big problem here in America. We have a group called Antifa, all right? And this is uh, still with, uh, you know, Miss Omar here. And Ilhan Omar and the rest of these Democrats don't ever, ever, ever condemn Antifa and their attacks. And, and this is a big issue here in America. We have a ma it's basically a mask group that, you know, um, that can stand out and, and create chaos. And nobody is standing up and saying these people need to be arrested. What do you think about this here? I'm showing the crowd here uh, a Blaze article. And this Blaze article speaks about Ilhan Omar who laughs after a reporter confronts her about Antifa terroristic attacks. What, what do you think about this? What do you make about this? Well, Antifa means anti-fascist, but the truth is they are pure fascists. In other words, they're for freedom of speech as long as it's their speech. And they mask themselves because they are out with clubs and tear gas and chemicals uh, to throw on people that don't say the things that they support. It reminds me, in the 1920s and the 1930s, the young Nazi party in Germany employed something called the brown shirts. And the brown shirts in Nazi Germany were thugs that were organized gangs that went out and broke up political meetings, rallies, any assemblies, that weren't pro-Nazi and they would break heads and they would burn buildings and they would um, get in the faces and run over as much as possible people that disagreed with them. For any law-abiding person in America to not strongly say, of course I'm against thugs beating up people exercising their First Amendment right, it seems automatic. And the article you're referring to, Jermaine, is so shocking mm -hmm. that a reporter asked not only Ilhan Omar, but the rest of the squad, which is Presley and Tlaib and um, Ocasio-Cortez, if they would condemn Antifa. It's kind of like an automatic, like, are you in favor of the sun coming up? Everybody should say yes. Are you in favor of clean air? Of course. Are you against Antifa? crickets. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Nobody said anything, but they laughed as if, why would I condemn people that are completely insane, breaking all kinds of felonious uh, regulations about beating up people, burning down buildings, throwing chemicals on people, tear gassing people, and they're wearing masks, Jermaine, because they don't want to be identified on cell phone cameras and they don't want to go to jail. You would think that anybody that is pro freedom of speech and against violence would say, of course, the Antifa people belong in jail and they ought to take the masks off. But no, the squad laughed. For them, it's funny. And it's funny because they're deflecting because Antifa supports them. That is scary to me, truly. It, it, it is super scary. You know, I look at Antifa like this you know i played this clip the same uh, article here there was a clip along with it um and what happened was that the reporter was chasing them asking these women hey will you condemn antifa and their attacks these women walked as if the guy wasn't even there you know this is this is their type of mentality and i believe that they know that antifa is quote unquote their uh, army this is the left's, um, you know, army, but they they won't say it's their army. Antifa is there to antagonize and it's there to divide the masses. Now, I look at it like this. Everybody should be against Antifa, even the cops. There's a problem, Jermaine, in some places like in Portland, the mayor has instructed his police force to leave Antifa alone mm -hmm. and to not intervene and to, quote, stand down in military terms and police terms stand down means put your weapons down get out of the way and don't interfere oh my gosh it's complete abdication of law and order mm -hmm. so we have brown shirts beating up people in the street 
and the Antifa people believe in, get this, not a joke, socialism on the first step, full communism on the second step, which is their goal, the complete destruction of capitalism. People should be scared to death of these people and should feel comfortable that their police will protect them. But every mayor or any government official that tells police to stand down when Antifa gathers, instead of rounding them up, pulling off the masks, and sending them to jail where they should be when they attack people, get involved politically is what I'm telling your people to do now, and get the people out of office, Jermaine, mm -hmm. that are preventing the police from doing their job. Like you said, in a bank, you see somebody walk in with a mask over their head, Oh boy, you know what's coming, and so does the bank guard who's probably already pushed an alarm and the police are on their way. What's the difference if it's out in the street? There you go. They're beating people with clubs.